Okay, here we have another trigonometric equation. Now this one is quadratic. So the first thing I'm going to look to see if it factors. Now it doesn't factor, so we're going to use the quadratic formula. Here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 3, and c is equal to 1. Now remember, with the quadratic formula, we have x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. But we don't have an x, right? Our variable here is actually sine theta. So in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to let x equals sine theta. And so when we run the quadratic formula, we're not going to get x. We're going to get answers for the variable sine theta. So sine theta equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And let's go ahead and substitute. We have negative, negative 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 3 squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a. OK, so that gives us 3 plus or minus square root. 9 minus 4 is 5, all over 2. So we actually have two uh, values here. We have 3 minus square root of 5 over 2, and we also have 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now I'm going to want to see what those actual values are. So I'm going to use a calculator here. And for this one, 3 minus square root of 5 over 2, I get approximately 0 0.3820, rounded off to four places. And then 3 plus square root of 5 over 2, I get approximately 2.3820. 6180. Okay, so at this point, sine theta could equal either of those two numbers. So we have sine theta is approximately equal to 2.6180, or sine theta is approximately equal to, well, I'm going to use 0.3820. I'm going to choose 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 because that's the exact value. OK, so at this point, we see this term here, sine theta is approximately 2.61. Now remember, sine oscillates between negative 1 and 1, so there's no way it could be 2.6. You can do sine inverse of 2.6 and see on your calculator that there's no solution here. But this one is going to have two solutions. Notice it was positive, right? It was 0 0.3820 approximately. And I use the exact value here, so I'm going to change that to a straight equal. OK, so we know sine is positive in two quadrants, right? It's going to be positive in quadrant 1, and it's going to be positive in quadrant 2. So what we have to do is get the reference angle off of that. OK, now to get that reference angle, what I'm going to do is look at theta hat. It's going to be equal to sine inverse of 3 minus square root of 5 over 2. OK, so then on a calculator, I get approximately 22.5 degrees. Now, notice if I were to use the approximate answer, it would have been off a little bit with round off error. So using the exact value on the sine inverse is a little more accurate. OK, so going back to here in quadrant 1, the angle that I'm after, theta, is equal to the reference angle. So the answer here is uh, approximately 22.5 degrees plus that 360 n where n is an integer. So there's all the solutions coterminal in Q1. All right, now we want to look in Q2. In Q2, the theta that we're after is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus the reference angle. So 180 degrees minus 22.5. Oh, well, that's an approximation. And that equals 157.5 degrees. Now, for that one, I'm also going to add 360n get all answers, and that'll be theta, all answers coterminal in quadrant 2. OK, and then lastly, I'm just going to mention that n is in the set of integers. OK, so those are all the solutions to this trigonometric equation that didn't factor. We had to use the quadratic formula. From that, we actually had two values for sine theta.